Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how we can draw this very easy oil pastel drawing. The main aspect of this drawing is the shading. So the main thing that you have to keep in mind that if the light is falling from this direction, if this is the object, if these are the objects on which the light is falling, then the shadows will be just in the in that direction only like in here these are the shadows these are the shadows so you have to keep in mind that i have used gallery oil pastel and i have used the texture of the paper to create this detailing and the main thing out here is the shading the better you can shade the better you can blend the better the drawing will look so keeping this in mind without further ado let's get to the tutorial so first of all we are going to give the base color which is ochre yellow a layer of white and then we are going to just blend it see we are going to cover the rest of the area with black this is the basic step I would say the main steps will start after this so i'm using my stadler 8b extra dark pencil to give sharp lines in some of the areas just observe now i'm going to draw the stairs so i've used handmade paper out here which is a rough kind of a paper and although i have applied a layer of color it is bound to live its pattern in the color itself so see the white which I'm applying now has little bit of a roughness in it so with after applying little bit of ochre yellow I'm just going to blend it a little but not too much remember the you have to get the feel of the drawing whatever you are drawing the things which we are drawing out here is kind of an attic or and uh, a dungeon kind of a thing and it is made of stones and rocks they have rough surface so obviously things won't be very smooth out there okay so we are going to leave some of those roughness out there like some of the areas will have sharp edges while the rest of them will have uh, rough edges I would say so see I'm just applying some brown little bit of black and then I'm blending it but look at the effect which I'm leaving out there In this drawing as well, there is not much to say. The main part is observing and observing carefully. See this little bit of bump which I gave right now with my pencil. That's because we are drawing a stair. The things which I am drawing right now are all the, you can say, some of them are shadows, 
and some of them are just areas where light haven't reached like the bottom of the stairs or the front portion of the stairs are the areas where the lights haven't reached so a shadow is there right now we are in the easy part okay right now we are in the easy part there is not much to say i'm just putting in the elemental things which are supposed to be there like the stairs uh some obvious darkness in the stairs those are the things which i'm putting right now but the main thing will be the wall that will act as the contrast so see whenever there is a shadow like always i say the shadows are bound to have a gradient like they won't go dark all of a sudden there will be a gradient so see i'm using black then i'm blending it with the ochre yellow at the base some i'm mixing some brown as well i'm creating some dark gradients and now i'll see i'm just going to you know not apply too much pressure first of all with medium pressure i'm just going to mark out the areas where i need bricks or bricks uh, you can say bricks or you can say stone bricks so those areas are bound to have some uh, you know dark shadows like stones are not a uh, smooth surface they have holes in them they have bumps in them they will create shadows the black portions you see i'm drawing right now those are actually the shadows as soon as you put something of a light color in front of this blacks or you can say on the right side on the right side of these blacks which i'm doing right now they will automatically appear 3d or you can say they will automatically appear like they are some kind of a shadow of something see i'm giving very light touches and i'm uh, you know allowing the texture of the paper to be there that will act as the roughness or the rough texture of the stones creating this gradient of darkness to light and light to darkness will act as the key point in this drawing and remember you see right now you can see some border lines around the stair areas those will not be there there shouldn't they shouldn't look like there is some kind of a separation is there no they have uh, or pa all part of a single unit see right now i'm putting some ochre right in front of the blacks see i'm putting them right in front of the blacks that's how you create that shadow effect
I'm also adding little bit of texture using my pen knife and my empty pen so that there is slight variation of that light color as well which is occur in this case even that slight variation will make it look more realistic from a distance of course see I'm using my pen knife to create some of the fine detailings like the fine lines of the bricks the separation between two bricks those kind of things some uh, lines among the bricks which should be visible from a distance these small strokes just small random strokes will create those realistic effects Observe the placement of the black, the increase of the darkness in some of the areas. You will see the gradients of light to dark in them. See, I'm using my Q-tip to, you know, blend out some of the areas so that they look like they have no separation between the stairs and the wall you can use your Stadler 8B extra dark pencil also in some of the areas with the black see I'm putting very precise amount of black and brown it shouldn't look too dark or too light you have to match the colors as well
so friends we are almost to the end of this video tutorial it was a, almost a very easy drawing so do give this a try at home and if you stayed till the last uh, thank you a lot it helps a lot if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share and don't forget to press the bell notification because I upload new videos every week. So, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until next time, goodbye.